Okay. Time to disable a security lockdown. Does this one go? The same way. Archives. To W. Chief Porter, Sevastopol Terminals. Chief, the good news is that I'm about 80% through archiving Sevastopol's internal mail system for the decommissioning. It's been dis disconnected from Apollo, but I've left the basic messaging system in place for the people still here. The bad news is, is whoever set it up in the first place skimped on the hardware, and we've had some leaks. I've got Mike Tanaka looking into it now. He's the specialist archivist we called in. Seems to know his shit. Just thought I'd better give you the heads up in the meantime. Franco. An Outpost of Progress, number one. Sevastopol, an Outpost of Progress by Julia Jones. Desolation through isolation. 
the space station that nobody needed run by a company we all forgot. Sevastopol is now a backwater. The population is a tenth of the station's optimal capacity. Docking bays are empty and the shutters are down on local stores and businesses. The orders for Siegson's cheaply manufactured androids have long since dried up and the antiquated Apollo governing AI system frequently malfunctions. How did we get here? And more importantly, where have billions of dollars of investment gone? My name is Julia Jones. I have lived in Sevastopol for two months compiling this report for the Colonial Times, discovering the price of our second tier. Our second tier corporations have paid for their overexpansion during the race into the Outer Rim. It is shoving a lot of scrap at us right here at the start, and I have concerns that we're gonna not have enough later. Hello, beautiful! Right? She's such a good little bioweapon. Do any of you remember after we played this the first time and we had all of the alien sound effects as things on stream?
Oh, no. There's a couple of the shapes that look very similar to me, and I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> right, Zan? My name's Ripley, Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. Well, I am definitely never going to mistake that for a human. Um, they definitely did not want you mistaking their uh, their androids for humans. Oh yeah, uh, a wreck went and like looked it up and everything. Our first time playing and it is good to see you, Zan. Turn off camera feed and turn on door access. Oh, we'll turn off air purification as well. And we'll turn on door access. Thanks! Yeah, apparently, like, the... Everything they did for the AI for this was, like, really, really cool and stuff, so... Who needs purified air? I, I might need purified air. I can't fucking see. can't remember if this one is aggressive or not. Can I help you? I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. I wouldn't advise it.
some kind of tracker. It's been modified. This thing is the most deadly thing in your inventory. To yourself. No, no problem. Cues, I put a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. Don't want any accidents until we figure out what's going on here. Our manifesto, first published in Ion Siegs in February 2115. We don't want to show you a new world, we want to discover it with you. Here at Siegs, in every new technology, research project and discovery is driven to find real world applications to help you. We hope you'll help us, you'll join us for the journey. Tomorrow, together, number one. Tomorrow, together. Together Tomorrow, Siegsen's Journey into Colonial Space, an official history by Sebastian Sieg, first printed in Ion Siegsen. Our Origins in Space. 2034 changed everything. The advent of faster-than-light travel put Siegsen, then known as Siegenson, on the path to success. The race into space began in earnest, and under the steady hand of our founder, Josiah Sieg, our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. Sieg and Son built the components that enabled ships to extend colonial space beyond the solar system. As history relates, Wayland Corp. was reluctant to share its FTL technologies with other corporations. Fortunately, Josiah Sieg was on hand to speculate, innovate, and produce. Without Sieg and Son, the skies would have looked very different indeed. The noisemaker is very important. Hey, thanks so much for the bits! Yes, Foxy. What do you mean? Just because she doesn't look like other kitties doesn't mean she's not a kitty cat. Hello, Ursus. No, she definitely is a kitty cat, though. Just a 
very aggressive kitty cat. She's not been getting enough, uh... She's not been getting enough stimulation. I mean, did they change it though? Did they? Uh, sort of. Really? We are full up on charge packs? Just a moment. I can fix that. No, I know. I... I know. I think we need the uh, upgrade to the access tuner for this. Yeah, key card. Okay. Let me in. I need to contact my ship. another way inside. I see uh, Siegson skimped out a bit on the, um, hello bull. Um, yeah, apparently Siegson skimped out on the, like, protections for their robots. How goes the conference bull? Bull. I do believe it is Asimov's Laws, yes. Which needs bonding agents. Your logged message. 
Sensitive corporate information has been automatically detected in a Sevasta link message recently sent from this terminal. This event has been logged by Apollo on behalf of Siegsen. If you have any further questions, please talk to your line manager or your nearest synthetic Siegsen representative. Apollo's eye. Riggs, are you still working down in Siegsen Communications? Remember that trouble you got into last year? The trouble I helped you out of? Well, it's time to repay the favor. One of my colleagues has been looking into some some of the import documents and found a few problems. He's new, so he doesn't understand how we do things on Sevastopol, and he's threatening to go to waits about it. This could hurt us all, so I need you to keep an eye on him, see if anything interesting comes up. Apollo has cameras everywhere, it just needs someone to tell it where to point to. His name is Daniel Halden, he lives in Josiah C Sig of Executive Appoint Apartments 651. If this goes well, I might have some more work for you. We could clean up here. Ransom. Fair? Indiana does seem like a terrible place to be. I'm glad they're feeding you at the th and that the campus is beautiful. Central Communications Hub seeks an employees only.